Welcome to this video. In today's video, you will see LabSync Leak Tester C660B, a device for detecting leak using bubble method in accordance with ASTM D3078. It is suitable for flexible package of different sizes and materials, such as large bag of dog food, PET or PE bottles for milk, drinks, supplements, and medicines. Top sealed paper cup and plastic jelly cup. Stand-out pouch or pillow pouch for food. Flexible tube of hand cream. Coffee set it as small as 0.5 grams. And a blister pack of tablets. C660B has a control box and a vacuum chamber. The control box has a touch screen where you can set test parameters easily. It also vacuumizes the chamber. A built-in ventry type vacuum generator is used for this purpose. So you don't need a costly vacuum pump. Package to be checked is put into the chamber. It is pre-filled with water, and the water level should just contact the bottom of the porous plate. Depending on the package size, there are three chambers to choose from. Chamber dimensions are shown on the screen. Here we use a pillow pouch to do a leak test. It has a top seal and a bottom seal. There's also a center seal that runs up the back of the pillow. These heat seals may bring leak points. First, we put pouch into the chamber and put on the lid. Make sure the pouch be completely underwater. Click Preset to set test variables. At first, we select a pred unit. There are four units. Here we use kilopascal and check the box before it. Select test mode, three to choose from. Here we use standard mode, checking the box before it. Set pred value. The value only can be a negative number. For example, minus 70. The target pred inside the chamber will be 70 kilopascal below atmospheric pressure. A vacuum, in other words. Set vacuum keeping time. For example, one minute. The device can be connected to a micro printer so that test report can be printed at the end of the test. We should check the box before yes. Go back to the home window. Click test. After clicking the test button here, the control box begins to suck the air out of the chamber. Print inside decreases. Two curves are being plotted on the screen. The light green curve is a targeted pressure. Red curve is a real-time pressure. Pressure value is also shown in the upper left corner. When two curves meet, the timer starts. Two pressure curves continue to extend. Now we must look at the pouch closely. We can see two isolated bubbles. We believe, however, they are caused by entrapped air and do not indicate pouch failure. But if there is a steady progression of bubbles, it will be deemed as pouch failure. Test finishes when the timer comes to one minute. A window pops up on the screen. The pouch is qualified as no steady progression of bubbles was observed. So we click Qualified. Test result is recorded automatically. At the same time, the printer begins to print test report. That is the standard procedure of leak test. Thank you for watching.